Finally quit smoking cigarettes and I don't go downtown drinking till it's gone. The best parts of you are here, but you're still gone. Whoo, that is a first listen to some new music from Oklahoma's own Zach Bryan. He shared that video on social media last night ahead of a new album that is expected to drop on August 25th. But first, he's got a big weekend here in Tulsa. He's taking the stage this weekend at the BOK Center for two nights of sellout shows. He grew up in Ulaga. He's an Army veteran, and he's one of music industry's fastest rising stars. And I would say the man who probably knows Zach better than anyone, his dad, Dwayne, here with <laughs> us this morning. How you doing? I'm good. You? I'm good. I, I, I liked watching you watch that video because you just your smile grew so big oh. seeing Zach si sing. Yeah. What has this been like for you for the past few years? I mean, your son has shot to fame. Has it just been a whirlwind that is a blur? Uh, not so much a blur. It's been, it's been a lot of fun. It, it's been a, a blast, actually. <laughs> I bet so, because you've kind of been following him along on this big adventure, right? Yes, ma'am. You go to the shows. Talk a little bit about, like, your involvement with Zach and in, in this big tour that he's on right now. Um, I don't know where to start, but I'll just say I like to go to the shows. I like to interact with people. I like to host block parties and tailgates. <laughs> and uh, now when people ask me my career, I tell them I'm a professional tailgater. <laughs> That's a pretty good job so. <laughs> to have. And we are, we'll talk all about the block party here in just a little bit. But Zach, he's a Grammy-nominated artist, ACM's new male artist of the year, and now on a sold-out arena tour. It's breaking records. He's a talented writer, raw writer. He makes you feel things. And he just churns out new music, it seems like. He loves to write music, it seems. Is that right? Yeah. So I know it's taken a lot of work, but where did it begin? Is there a moment that you can think of that was just like the catalyst to him being in the spotlight? The catalyst to being in the spotlight, I'm not so sure, but um, you said where did it begin first? With, God, 12 or 13 years old, he's like, I, I really like poetry, Dad. So then he just started putting the poetry into music, because, you know, which young man is a poet, he, he is, and he's put that with music and it's become something magical. So I know he posted a video on social media several years ago singing a song he wrote um, outside the barracks. Mm -hmm. And that video, was that kind of a beginning point for him? It went online and people just loved it? Yes, it was. Um, it was a beginning point for many things because of that video, he was in the Navy. And just, and that's when <laughs> social media, you know, um, there was obviously five million people who loved it, but there were those few and in between who, oh man, he's on something. <laughs> so that's where the first <laughs> yeah, critics came you in. Get the, you, you, you know, get the good with the bad. But he had been working all day, it was near the beach in Florida. It was hot. Yeah. You know, um, so that's that. That really was when I saw that. I'm like, yes. And then there's another, there's another moment, for lack of it, uh, a young man in Africa covered one of his songs, mm -hmm. and it was on social media, and I found it, and I'm like, that's so cool. So we go from that, you know, the young man in Africa covering one of his songs to now, you know, these shows, we go to him, and I cry every time. <laughs> Each one's new. Yeah. Each one is brand new. Did you know at age 13 when he was writing poems and maybe he started kind of dabbling in music and singing and playing guitar, did you know that this would end like this? It would come to this point in his career, he'd be this huge star that everybody knows? I didn't know where it would end, I don't, I, and I don't know where it's going to end today. Um, I think we're in the middle of something big. Um, it was he was 13, between 13 and 15, I, I got him a, a, a statue thing of 9-11, the fireman holding the flag, and it said, dream big. And then uh, one time he, he took a Dremel tool and he, he, out in the garage, just randomly, you know, he, he carved into this board, you know, move mountains. And that's just always been his spirit. And one of the things that Anna's always said is, He'll jump off a cliff and build his wings on the way down. <laughs> he just so, goes for it. Oh, man. And then you never know who's going to show up on the stage. I mean, come on, Sheryl Crow. Amazing. A couple weeks ago. Amazing. Uh, I mean, I get pictures of him hugging Willie Nelson, you know, and I'm like, yeah. 
So cool for you. Yeah. Well, behind the scenes, you're doing some work too, and you've got the the two concerts that he sold out at the BOK Center this weekend. But there's a block party before, and you've had your hand in that. Let's <laughs> talk about the block party. I heard that um, McLovin Moon might be there. I don't even know where that guy's going to be. I'm trying to find him, actually. <laughs> the Zach Bryan fans are going to know what that means. But here's a look at the lineup. Talk about this this block party. Okay. The the block party. It's uh, it's a group of artists that are they're local artists. And they have, for lack of better words, proven to be humble, selfless, and just have a love of music. They all want to. They all want to do what Zach's doing. Mm -hmm. Okay, but we all know that you know a few people get to do that. So I've told them all to bring their A game today. And but the, but the beauty in this is honestly, Quick Trip and, and the BOK Center. Uh, my wife Anna and I met um, Marley. Um, uh, after the, before the Turnpike Troubadour show, uh -huh. we went to see a Turnpike, and and we we met this person out there, and we saw this block party, and we're like, this is cool. Mm -hmm. So we just decided to engage it, and man, they they engaged it full bore, and so now we have six or eight local artists are going to be playing, and yeah, you um, kind of helped with the lineup. You yes, you gave suggestions. I did, and and they were very kind with letting me. Mm -hmm. I got to be honest, I was. Uh, I, I was overwhelmed that they let us do that, and I'm excited, like crazy excited about seeing. I call them my kids. Uh huh. You um, got lots of kids on, on the, the stage. at the block party stage. So it, that's uh, tonight and tomorrow. It's from four to eight. Doesn't yeah. cost anything. You don't have to have tickets to the show. You can just go to the block party, third yeah. in Denver. Yes, ma'am. And I think another thing that's really cool about Zach is that his band is a lot of guys that he grew up with. Yes, ma'am. And, and he seems to really want to stay true to his roots, and he's still just that hometown kid from Ulaga. Yes, ma'am. All right. Thank you, Dwayne. We're yeah. excited. I'll be uh, there on Saturday night. Thank I you. can't wait.